what inspired you to go the Christmas holiday route for this iteration? I think it was just time. Disney really wanted to do a holiday movie. And even though it wasn't the third book in the series to be adapted, it, it was uh, it felt like the right time to tell a really different type of story. And of course, these types of things tend to do well around the holidays. So it's uh, so it was a it was a risk and a gamble, but hopefully it'll pay off. And it, it's a lot of fun and it has a lot of heart in it, as many uh, holiday movies do. And were you inspired by any other sort of holiday classics that were influential to you growing up? I think in a way we were trying to invert those holiday classics because a lot of the times those holiday classics are pretty, uh, um, you know, they're treacly and kind of you know, they have a gooey center. But I really wanted to tell a story that had a little bit more of an edge to it. And so Greg is basically like a fugitive for most of this movie. He's he's on the run. He's not being honest. Um, he's just trying to protect the chances that he'll get this gift. And so it was fun to tell a different type of story. So even though we follow some of the beats of, of a regular holiday movie, it was fun to do something a little different too. And you absolutely did that. And, you know, you have the uh, unique honor of being able to adapt your own work from yeah. uh, for the animation medium in this. And um, what have you learned now that this is the third one about how to um, adapt your stories to the screen? Yeah, I've learned a lot. Um, there's a whole language in in, in filmmaking that um, it took me a while to learn. I think I started reading those books, uh, you know, about like Save the Cat, uh, book nine. So that would be about eight years ago um, or nine years ago. And I didn't start getting good at it until about two or three years ago. Um, it, so it's... Um, it was it's it's fun to learn a new uh, sort of method of writing and screenwriting has really had an effect on my book writing as well, a positive effect. What's the next uh, kind of Diary of a Wimpy Kid story you'd like to tell the screen, whether it's an adaptation or an, an original kind of story? I'd love to do a summer story for sure because, like, I think that summer is you know we Greg's always been in the school year in, in my in my Disney Plus movies so far, so I think it would be great to do dog days eventually i think it'd be great to do a father-son story which really focuses on greg's relationship with his father um and uh you know and then i'd love to do a road trip story as well so all of those are hopefully we'll get to make all of those types of movies and you have a sort of a, a unique honor i think in this one in that your film begins with the disney 100 castle you know you're contributing to that animation legacy with your your own take what does it mean to be on a platform like disney plus where family films are just the heart of everything that the disney brand represents yeah it's it's a huge honor of course disney's been the fabric of uh most of our lives in some way in a positive way and they're known for making quality productions and and i think uh you know, I, I think we've we've done something special here because our, our stories are sort of small, but there's a place for those stories on Disney too. I think, and not every not every story is frozen or or up or you know or you know those types of big big epic stories. So it's nice to have small stories that um, that reflect our lives back to us as well. Congratulations again, Merry Christmas to you and your family, and uh, we look forward to watching. Uh, the latest installment of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid franchise on Disney+. Plus. 